another day, another 50% of all stocks trading in the U.S. were short sales. 50%. That's not a stock market. That's a casino. And then Gary said markets are overflowing with MMs. Brokers and banks abusing short sale regs to destroy companies, then offshore profits, whilst avoiding taxes, oversight, and accountability. When you create infinite stock and, sh and short it without penalties, then why not? At Charles Payne and at Dave Lauer. This ape says AMC, AMC has been the best financial investment that I have ever seen. There probably will never be an opportunity like this in our lifetime again. Market, I absolutely cannot wait to look back at this tweet and hang it up in my library or office in the future. Now, of course, we don't know what's going to happen with AMC stock or AMC as a company from here, but there are a lot of good positive bullish catalysts ahead. Things like Taylor Swift era in the theaters and other potential massive, massive revenue streams. In AMC at these current price levels, it's almost too cheap to ignore, so something's got to give sometime soon. We have been holding and buying AMC for over two years. We have seen corruption at the highest levels, but nothing compares to what we witnessed this week. But the level of crime is unsustainable. Look at the numbers for yourself. They are building the biggest bubble and collapse Wall Street has ever seen. Why didn't they cover? Simply because they can't until we sell, and we are not selling at these prices. It's been a crazy, crazy last few weeks, and something massive could be right around the corner. This is pretty insane. It says Justice Department closes in on short sellers. Let's take a look. It says FBI agents raided the homes of prominent short sellers last year. Now criminal charges may be imminent. The meme stock bear. Andrew Left, a hedge fund manager famous for shorting meme stocks, was one of the short sellers whose home was raided. As I predicted at the time, his investors have pulled out. Again from Bloomberg. Two years after the FBI agent showed up to the California home to seize computers and phones, the short seller who terrorized more than 100 companies and riled an army of meme stock traders is describing what it's like to feel hunted. His pioneer firm, Citroen Research, no longer has investors. He's all but stopped pitching ideas publicly. He even wiped his once feared Twitter accounts. The Justice Department has not made any specific allegations against Left. No one has proven he's guilty of anything. But Left's short positions have already cost him clearly. He took massive losses shorting GameStop in 2021 and finds himself ostracizing the industry and personally. But what is the government looking for? Short sellers typically short a stock, they publish a negative article or research report, then profit when the shares fall, when the Justice Department has not said what exact wrongdoing they're looking for. They may be digging into these reports, and they may be trying to build a case. How it ends, I find it hard to believe that the government will spend years investigating an industry. After all, taking on a big hedge fund manager will make a prosecutor's career. What's more, short sellers might be the least sympathetic group of people imaginable. If politicians think jobs in their districts are at risk due to a short seller raid, they will act. Which means we might actually see criminal charges, but comment down below what you think is going to come out of all this. Make sure to check out all these other videos to catch up on all the latest AMC Stock DD and information you need.